the weather. It's been one of the most promoted events we've ever seen. That was even before we knew that Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather were going to fight. And at this point, if you haven't been sold on the spectacle yet, consider the haymaker Mayweather dropped on Stephen A. Smith during their recent conversation. He actually allowed the possibility that Ray Greg McGregor could win. Eyebrows raised, that includes us. More promoting in Stephen A's Sports Center conversation. This can't be a defensive fight. Excuse me? I gotta go down. I gotta go down. Are you saying that you're going to go to Conor McGregor? I gotta go down. You're him. not going to back up. You're going to go to him. I have to go to him. Why? I got to do what I got to do. Why? If you didn't have to go, through, to go to other fighters in order to beat them. Why do you feel the need to do that in this fight? Because I owe the, I, I owe the public for the Pacquiao fight. Since they wasn't pleased with the Pacquiao fight, they're going to they be, be pleased with this fight right here. You have never lost. I have seen you go into the ring against boxers who are extraordinary they were thought to be killers and you said i'm the best i'm the best ever and nobody Ma will beat Conor, me Conor they McGregor, will lose and conor mcgregor is a killer he's right. a killer and you would say definitively they're going to lose how come i'm not hearing that from you right now i'm older what does that mean i'm not the same what does that mean i'm not the same what does that mean i'm not the same fighter i was two years ago i'm not the same fighter i was five years ago you're saying man but i'm not the same fighter i lost a step are you really trying to sell us on that? That, <laughs> I mean, that, that you slipped. Floyd Mayweather slipped. You see what you just said when I fought uh, Andre Berto. A fighter like Andre Berto don't even supposed to go to distance with Floyd Mayweather. But remember, I was, I was 38. So like I said before, it's obvious I'm slipping a little bit to even let a fighter like that go to distance with me. So now that's where we are? Floyd Mayweather is sitting in front of me talking about words like slipping and slippage and all that. That's where we are now? You trying to sell us on the fact that you, you, you're trying to sell us on the notion that you may have slipped and you may not be what you used to be. I'm not what I used to be. Is there another deal out there that you won't be able to refuse if you win this fight? No, I'm through. I, if, get, if it, uh, I know. No, don't go to Canelo and Triple G. Don't go there. I, I, was, I, I wasn't I gave, going there. I don't matter. I gave Al Heyman my word. I shook his hand. I shook his hand. I gave him my word. This is my last one. All right, so the man who conducted that interview, Stephen A. Smith, joins us now. We heard there a second ago, among other things, he said that he lost a step. McGregor's got a chance. Stephen, you're a smart guy. You don't believe any of that, do you? No, I don't. No, I don't. I think that he's going to destroy Conor McGregor. I think that's his mission. He wants to humiliate him. He brought up uh, some racist taunts that he felt that Conor McGregor had made. He talked about how fans were disappointed in the Pacquiao fight. He wants to make up for that. Uh, but more importantly, what really convinced me not to believe him, and I told him this to his face, is that He's acting like, okay, if I lost, you know, I still have my health, I still have my family and my loved ones, and I'm going to be just fine. The Floyd Mayweather that I've known all of these years has been religiously committed to being unblemished, undefeated. I don't believe for one second that he is not cognizant of the fact that if he were to lose, this would be the biggest upset in the history of the sport because one of the greatest ever, clearly the greatest defensive fighter to have ever lived, which is Floyd Money Mayweather, will have gotten into the ring undefeated at 49-0 and 0 and have lost to a person who's never boxed professionally in his life, in his career, in Conor McGregor. I don't believe for one second that Floyd Mayweather is immune to that, that something like that would not affect him. I don't believe it for one second, regardless of what he says. I just think that he's trying to set up uh, uh, Conor McGregor for the kill. He wants to destroy and embarrass and humiliate him, and that's his intent. Stephen A., we've seen that, you know, when Floyd talks before a fight, I mean, he, he compliments himself. He's supremely confident. I've never heard him say, I give the edge to the other fighter here. Uh, you were in disbelief during the Q&A. We were in disbelief listening, looking at him smile like that. Have you ever seen Floyd Mayweather like this before a fight? No, I've seen him relaxed. I haven't, I haven't heard him say the things that he said before a fight, but I have seen this demeanor on many occasions. One of the greatest gifts that he has is that no matter how bright the lights get, He's always cool under pressure. So he brings that element to the equation. He believes that others will fold under those spotlights. He knows that he never has, and he doesn't believe he ever will. So that's really his advantage, the poise, the patience, and all the things that come with being great in a pugilistic sport. 
are the gifts that he has proven he has. His mentality is that, okay, I, I, he wants to paint himself as an underdog from the perspective of, who knows, I've got brittle hands, I'm smaller, <laughs> I'm shorter, so give this guy a chance. Because in the end, what he cares about most is you buying that fight. Yes. He wants you to buy the fight so he can get money because you know he's going to get a large percentage of that. Like he says, he doesn't have a boss. He owns his own brand. So that's his mentality. He's trying to sell a fight, but make no mistake about it. He can, he thinks this is going to be easy work. He thinks he's going to destroy Connor. But what he loves about Connor is that Connor has taken the pressure off of his shoulders because unlike any other fight he's had, this guy is a walking promotional tool himself in Connor McGregor. And Connor is not just talking. Connor firmly believes that all I got to do is clip him. I don't have to outbox him. I don't have to last 12 rounds. All I got to do is catch this kid and it's lights out. So Connor is really the one selling this fight, not Floyd. And that's what Floyd loves about it most. Oh, we can keep talking. We're almost there. You can catch more of Stephen A and Max top of the hour right here on ESPN. Stephen A, thanks coming up.